I had some very good rides this evening. Uh, can you tell us why did you opted for Awesome Madame compared to Netflix? Um, look, there's not much difference between these two horses. Um, I pretty much left it up to the, the draws. Um, once uh, Awesome Madam drew one, I, I decided to choose this horse. Um, look, if, if Netflix drew inside, I'd probably choose him. I don't find there's too much between these two horses. So, um, look, Netflix would probably still win if he gets the right run, but I know that I'm definitely going to get the right run. And what are their opponents? Um, yeah, it's a tough little race. You know, there's a good chance in the race. Obviously, Cherish the Charm is going to get a probably, I wouldn't say a soft lead, but he might get a soft lead. So that'll um, hurt my chances a little bit. But if they go along, I'll definitely be in the finish. What can you say about the chances of what's news in the first one? Yeah, look, um, he was a good run last start. I got trapped deep on him the whole race and they didn't go real fast and he was still there at the finish. So I expect with a good draw today I'll be able to ride him close again and, and um, yeah, I think he should be right there in the finish. He, he's been knocking on the door for a long time and um, this is, looks like his sort of race. And what about Maestro Salute, a very good second last time? Yeah, obviously um, smaller field today. Um, he's drawn a nice gate a little bit further, dropping back in grade. Um, I think I could probably go forward and, and lead or sit, th sit behind the leaders and, and um, yeah, he should be a very good chance in this race. And uh, what about Buffalo Trip? Yeah, Buffalo Trip obviously won last start. A um, bit tougher race this week, but um, an awkward draw and a little bit further. But um, look, if I can get a nice running behind him or, or just behind the pace or something like that, he could definitely be in the finish. His horse has been working well, um, hasn't taken a backward step at all. Do you have a sign at hope with Street Bouncer uh, with the second draw? Yeah, obviously, um, hopefully I can turn the tables on, on Step to Fame. Um, got a bit of a pull in the weights this time and a better barrier than him. So hopefully if he has to do any bit of work getting across, maybe I can be there right at the finish to, to take him on the line. What's the form of Charles, my boy? Yeah, look, um, been a bit disappointing, um, has his problems sort of thing, uh, but we're hoping he's stepping up to 18, uh, a bit further today, obviously. and um, eight, I think it's 18.50. And, um, just, you know, try and ride him a little bit closer and just see how he goes. You know, I think the horse has still got improvement in him, but at the same time, too, I expect him to run well today. I young two new horses uh, this afternoon. Let's talk about the level of fitness of Shop Shop. Yeah, look, his fitness is pretty much there. Um, he's been here a long time. He's been in town a long time. He's um, he's had a lot of galloping. So I just I don't think he acclimatised too great at the start there. He, he's taking a bit of a time to recover after his gallops, but um, after um, his gallops during the week I was pretty happy with him um, tough little race you know I think a thousand meters might be too short for him at the moment but um, um, we'll just have to see how he goes today but he's definitely got ability and what about Zagazig in the last one yeah Zagazig um, I don't know too much about the horse I've only sat on his back a few times um, look I expect him to run well uh, the distance will probably be too short today but we just need to have a look at him and see he's only a young horse and still learning but he's definitely got potential and the horse looks well so fingers crossed he still can run a good race Ayan, what's your best ride of the day? Um, I'd have to say Maestro Salute or I can hopefully turn the tables with Street Bouncer.